Hey, what's going on YouTube? So I just wanted to take a minute and shoot this short video about the production and consumption meters for the in-phase system. PA Thom or Tom or whatever uh, was asking me how they were installed because he thinks that his are installed incorrectly. So this is the combiner box out in the garage. And as you can see, the wire, the blue and white wire coming down, comes over to here. This is the production CT. Based on his description, it, sound like, it sounded like the installer installed the consumption CTs on these two lines right here. The black and red line coming out like that. And if that's what they did, if they installed them right there, that's reading the same thing as this one is. Which is incorrectly installed. It's just going to read the same thing. So, this white wire back here comes up and goes in there. But that runs back to the main panel. So, I'll take you back there and show you the how the consumption CTs are installed. Okay, so we're in the backyard on the back side of the house. So there's the solar production meter, the disconnect, running over to the main panel. So here's the main panel right here. So to the left, that's coming directly in from the service. So this is my service meter. And these are the lines coming directly from that. They go up and they feed into the main breaker. This is where the consumption CTs are to be installed. This is proper installation. This is, so they are installed here. So it will, tr these CTs will track any electricity coming from the grid that I am drawing from the grid, hence the consumption meters. And the production meter monitors how much solar I'm producing. So, this, these are the wires coming from it. I made the connection from that other white wire inside the disconnect. You can see it up at the top in the back. Back here. You see it right there. And I made the connections inside this box. So that's the proper installation of the consumption and production CTs for the in-phase system.